All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I just forgot to unmute my mic again, so take another drink. And, uh, yeah, it's time for some Fivage time. We go ahead and unmute the application here. And I'm already in the room. Our room code is WTLV. So everyone go ahead and join up and let's get this game a going, shall we? Ha 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 ha. Go ahead. Also, by the way, if you do hit a little bit of latency issues, remember to refresh your stream. That way it should uh, reduce that a little bit. I don't know. Do what you can. Twitch stream delays are what they are, unfortunately. I can only do so much. Everybody's in. So we got Hammer Time, Deadpool, Duck, Arch, the whole usual gang. Let's do this. Welcome to the game. I'm Cookie. Hi, Cookie. I can't wait to find out if you're it's been a little bit since I've heard your voice, buddy. Exes. I miss you. Great, we've got eight today. Just I gotta tell you, like, size mean I, get an I wish I could get gratuity. the guy that does Let's the voice of Cookie Masterson as a guest for Tim Talks. That's one of my this dream is interviews. Round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool, and you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. I'm trying to remember Time his to name. Category. It was brought up when we did when I did the interview with uh, Arnie, Arnie Nykamp, uh, okay, one of the creators of Drawful. Question. Metrophilia oh, is sexual arousal caused by blank. Now use your device to type a lie that might fool the other players into believing it. If you can't think of anything in time, use the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. And now you know how to play the game. Everyone enters their lie. We're going to try and figure it out. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I want to say it was like Tom Gottlieb or something like that. It was something very close to my name, but I don't remember. for me button if you can't think of something. Because I remember the, uh, the, the creator of You Don't Know Jack was Harry Gottlieb. Touch it on your device. All right, related. You never want to just assume that. Hey, now, I do like somebody being aroused by my face. That is a very good thing for me. I mean, you kind of go to go. You kind of got to go with the obvious one, right? It's selected. either trains or subway cars. But subway cars was mine, so it's not that. Thank you kindly. And it was also. Oh, nice. Good job, Arch. High five. Great minds think alike. I'm I'm actually really looking forward to Quiplash. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a copy of that sooner rather than later because I want to play the shit out of that. Oh, man. Deadpool just and racked up with also... that one. And so did Trains. Uh, 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 Queen. That was Trains weird. was the thing that she said. I can't read tonight for some reason. Is it large cities? No, that's Corey's lie. Wow. And Duck with the right answer. Damn. And nobody picked the other lies up. Nobody there. knew that but the, but Duck, huh? Oh well. A lot of people got a lot of points on that one because there were two categories that two people picked. Two subway cars and two trains. Yep. Alright, pick a category. Alright, every time, pick us a good one. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay, boop. here's the question. A man from Enniskillen, Northern Ireland, was sentenced huh. to three months in prison for a fire he started while trying to turn blank into gold. Um, now. So what would an Irishman try to turn into gold? <laughs> no, let's not go political. Um... <laughs> Why not? I was gonna say a Scotsman, and then no, no, let's not do that. No, it's not lead into gold. That's what everybody thinks. If you pick lead into gold, you're instantly going to get buzzed. Although Lucky Charms is pretty good. I kind of like his poop. It's so close to crap that it makes me think that somebody put in his poop and it gave them the right answer. Okay, what did everyone pick? Why, thank you. I do love those points. 
Is it iron? Iron into gold sounds pretty good. Sadly, that was Duck's lie. She gets a thousand points. That's always nice. Is it his poop? That's what everybody picked. Well, bam. Yeah, nobody has ever arrested Rob Schneider. Hey, yo. And nobody <laughs> fell for some of these ingenious lies. Nope. Six lies just go to the wayside. Man, Duck is just killing it this round, huh? All right, Select Corey, pick us a winner. We got rainforest, pheromones, okay, control. Here's the nice. question. The Backyard Brains Company sells a device that lets you control blank with your mobile phone. Huh. Enter your lies now. That lets you control... I would actually really enjoy this one if I if my apartment complex allowed me to have these. I had one not too long ago, but unfortunately they made me get rid of it because it was a fire hazard. All I ever used it for was making delicious meats. I don't, I don't understand why I couldn't have it. Whatever. Hopefully I'll be moving soon, so that won't be a problem for long. Here you go. Find the truth. Let you control the wind. <laughs> Controlling the wind would be pretty good. Sadly, I don't know how you would get that one to work. I think it might be sprinklers. Garage doors. That sounds like something anything can do. Control trees. I don't know. Control your dog. If it had like an automatic dog whistle in it or, you know. All right. Who picked what? Uh, a, a, lo a short range radio receiver to like activate a shot collar or something. I don't know. Is it your pet? No. Sadly. That's mine. I miss my grill. I really do. They used to make grilled like bacon wrapped asparagus. Oh my god, it was so good. Oh, hammer time! Holy shit! Also... Hammer time and duck. Getting 2,000 points each? Great minds think alike. Wow. Oh, please tell me it's not cockroaches. It's fucking cockroaches. Yep, you can control a cockroach's movements with electrical signals. Unfortunately, the app immediately closes when you turn on the kitchen light. What? And that means... What, you never had a shot collar on a dog? It, uh, you can use it to control, like, where they run if you don't want to put a fence in your yard. It's not, like, a large shock. It's just enough to... Jolt this them and let them know they're Which doing a, the wrong thing. Are doubled. Exciting. Time to pick you usually use it for bigger dogs. Like, it's not a problem that you want to use for, I don't know, like a Sharpay or a Maltese or a little okay, something. Here's the question. It, it's, it's something it's you use for a bigger for a dog, trip. and it's about the Went same on a spring break trip pressure to Dongyang, China. as, like, Be sure to try a sharp their eggs pump, cooked you know? in It's not blank. painful. Type in your lies now. It's the same amount of pain as a dog would experience if you used a dog whistle. Which is to say none. Uh, cooked in... I don't know. Let's try that. Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. One more. There it is. All lies. All right, where's the truth? Young boy urine. That's cool, AJ. I have a cousin that does uh, missionary work okay, overseas let's take a as look. well. Nope, thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Eggs cooked in duck fat would probably be much more satisfying than the one that I picked, urine. And it was also. Oh, I see. Lots of lies. Lots of people's lies. That was weird. Is it young boy urine? Yes, it is young boy urine. For a healthier option, try egg white cooked in gluten-free young boy urine. Ugh, no thank you. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Wow! 
Holy shit, duck. You are just destroying this game. All right, pick a category. All right, so my turn. Uh, let's go with rehab. Okay, here's the question. Country singer Trace Atkins went into rehab after fighting a blank while on a Jamaican cruise. Um, and here lies now. I think I'm going to go with that because that seems like something that you would get in a fight with and not immediately go to jail, but instead just be like, oh, you know, I think you should just go to rehab. Hurry, hit the lie for me button if you can't think After of fighting a jerk chicken while on a Jamaican cruise. Okay, which one's the truth? After fighting a guy dressed like a pirate. Um, I really hope that it's Life Preserver. I really want it to be Life Preserver. Just because the, the image of somebody fighting a Life Preserver would be really funny. Because then the Life Preserver could possibly win by just getting around them and they're like, What the fuck do I do now? All right, let's see what everybody picked. Nope, that's, yeah, gonna be somebody's lie. God damn it. Oh, well. That is what's shot. Hey, look, I'm still gonna get two out of this because that one was mine. Fighting a child. Did he fight a child? No, that was Queen's. Did he fight a Trace Atkins impersonator? That's the one. Wow, really? That I did not the know. The police interview went like this. What did the assailant look like? Me! Exactly like me! <laughs> and the rest of the board goes unselected. After fighting a Rastafarian. The Rastafarian would probably just pull out some Eddie Gordo moves and button mash his way to victory. I don't know that Trace Atkins could stand a chance on that one. Select a category. All right, Stone Hunter, your turn. Pick us a good one. I see Chad, the Economist, Sleepwalkers, stuck. No, 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 that's okay. I've got it. Oh, darn. Okay, here's the question. In 1726, a British woman named Mary, Mary Toft Pot. convinced doctors that she had given birth to blank. Uh. Um, Type in your lies now. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what I'm going to put on this one. That was almost an immediate buzz in for me. <laughs> Hurry up. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. And time has run out. Huh. Who, uh, All who didn't right, pick? where's the truth? Did she give birth to Jesus? Or Cthulhu? Or Jayus? Jayus is pretty good. Somebody, uh, somebody forgot to put in the second S in Jesus. First S in Jesus. Hi, Alex. Welcome. I'm glad you can make it. Who picked what? Is it a goat? Did she give birth to a goat? Nope. That's not it. Was it Jesus Christ? Surprisingly not. Was it regular Jesus? No, because that was mine. I'm surprised it wasn't Jesus Christ. I, that's the one that I wanted it to be. Was it she give birth to rabbits? Wow. Really? What? And I didn't... we're done. What? How would you? Whatever. Oh, Probably a mul multiple litter. Wow, Duck, you are like over double my score. Holy shit, boss. And it's time for final fibbage. This is the final fibbage. One question left for all the marbles. And everything is worth triple. Good luck. Okay, here. 
is your final fibbage question. Product name of the gas neutralizer pad that you insert into your underwear made by the Solutions That Stick Company. Interesting. Enter your lies now. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. That sounds like a pretty good, pretty good product name that you would stick into your underpants. Make sure your gas don't smell. Make sure your shit don't stink. Hurry, hit the lie for me, buddy. Make sure that roses really smell like boop boop. Sorry. It's late on a Sunday. I really don't have much better than that at this point. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Poot perfume. Is it fart freely? Is it stinking on? Double subtle butt? Subtle butt's pretty good. I like subtle butt. Fart tart. <laughs> Fart tart. Sounds like Peter. Heh <laughs> Fart tart. Okay, what did everyone pick? Is it no stink? Nope, that's Queen's line. Not surprising. He's pretty good at this. Is it poo Pari? Sadly, no. That was Arch. I had given her more points. Son of a bitch. Stink be gone? No. That's Duck's lie. God. I did very poorly this round. I see now why you guys wanted to play Fibbage, because I'm just terrible at it. That's gotta be the truth. Subtle butt. What the hell? And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Son of a bitch. So many points went everywhere else but to me. With 19,000 points. Duck comes away with the win. God! And Stone Hunter gets the likes. Well done. Well done, everyone. Uh, let's see. You wanna you wanna do another round? Stop! You wanna do another round with some new players? I feel like that sounds like a good idea, so let's do that. Uh, room code this time is H H E M. Everybody jump on in. Let's play one more round of Fibbage, huh? <laughs> Duck, turn it for what? The Queen, AJ Wind and Corey Sai, and too tired to name. Excellent. Excellent. I love it. All right, let's do this damn thing, huh? Welcome to the game. I'm your host, Cookie, and I'm the not strong, not silent type. Okay, eight players, or as I like to call it, all the freaking players the game will allow. Let's do yes, this. Yes, Cookie, this is in fact all of the game the players that the game will freaking this allow. This is round one. But don't worry, because apparently uh, uh, Quiplash will answer. a lot for a, a crap for ton more. So that's going to be a really Time great to game to play on stream. I think it's actually being designed more with streaming in mind than okay, these happen to be. Um, that was another part of the trip. interview with Arnie in where he, he and I discussed that to. Be sure These to check games out their post office, just which is unusual sort of happen because to it be good blank. for streaming Type purposes, specifically Fibbage and Drawful because of the way the timing system works. Whereas, like, you don't know Jack, it really doesn't. It's kind of a little bit harder to play a four-person you don't know Jack game where the time limits are a lot shorter in, in a Twitch game where you have latency issues and lag and blah, 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 blah. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Boom, 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 ba bum. Two people are missing, two people didn't okay, get their lives in time, so here we go. <laughs> uh, it's unusual because it's in Port Villa Van. That's a great answer. <laughs> uh, because it's. I, hmm, curious if it's underwater. That would be a really interesting, very interesting post office. Or if it was made of glass or always on fire. I feel like if a post office is always on fire, there's a really good chance of you not getting your mail. 
Ouch. That's a minus 500 points there. That's never fun. Is it underwater? That's the one that I hope it is. Yes! Alright, starting off strong. Post offices that are just way better, underwater. way better, way better than last time. And the My rest God. of the board goes unselected. Oh, it was Cy and Corey who didn't get theirs in. Good job, guys. Good job. Select a category. Come on, too tired. You got some great things to pick in there. It's not hard. You know what? We'll just stick with this one. Are you too tired to pick a category, too? Okay, here's the question. In 1988, George H.W. Bush celebrated Halloween by dressing up as blank. Um. Enter your lies now. It's the only thing I could think of that would be the most absolutely horrible thing that I could think of. Uh-huh, sure, DC. That's what they all say. Uh, Hurry! Hit the lie for me button if you can't boom, think of boom, something. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Well, one of these has got to be the right thing. Did he dress up as John F. Kennedy? Did he dress up as Satan? Kind of, kind of hope he dressed up as Ronald Reagan, because that's really funny. Well, I'm George H.W. Bush, dressed up as Ronald Reagan. Reagan Spade. That's probably one of the only funny Family Guy okay, bits that I like. Okay, let's take a look. Repeatedly. Nope, thank you, Queen. Yep, it's absolutely horrendous. George H.W. Bush dressed up as a black guy. Let's go ahead and get that out there. Is it a priest? No, sadly no. Great lie there. Yeah, really great lie. God. Seriously? I don't think you can do that. And that means... I don't think that's a thing. Like, even if you're famous, you can't really dress up as you. Unless... I mean, like... It would be kind of lazy, but I guess, you know, you could do... All right. Uh, the category. other Bush is just George W. Bush. Um, I guess if you're like Johnny Depp or, okay, here's you know, the Tony, it's uh, time uh, for Robert Downey Jr. or somebody like that, and you have a PM, person who has a costume May, as, as a character that you played, you could do that. But that's tweeted, blank it's almost a little lazy, don't you medicine. think? Type in your lies now. I can already tell you all are the worst people in the world. Just how quickly all of those answers came in. If it's not seven different predications of the word penis, I'm going to be severely disappointed in you all. Okay, which one's the truth? Eh, close. Very close. I really want it to be heroin. I really want it to be heroin, but it's not. And it's probably not what I picked either, but I just picked my favorite answer. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> Thank you, Cotton. I couldn't, I couldn't resist. No, wow. Sorry, AJ. 500 points down, that sucks. Is it sex? No, that's not it. And it was also... Man. Oh, well. At least I'm being economic economic with my point Great minds allotments. take alike. Wow. I see the chat is having fun coming up with different uh, nomenclature for the schlang. For the schlange. Which explains for the why she's been so ill. For and Lance we're Johnson. done. All right. 
Oh God, I'm getting my ass kicked yet again in another game of Fibbage. I I will never win this game. I feel like this game this game is my electronic version of bowling. I'm never gonna be good at it, but that doesn't mean I can't play and have fun. Okay, here's the question. After consuming antifreeze, a Maltese terrier in Australia had his life saved when vets then gave him blank to drink. Enter um. your lies now. Please. Please, I want somebody to pick this so bad. I actually haven't been bowling in quite some time. I uh, got an invitation recently, but I've been way too busy to go lately. I do, I do, right, I have a fuckload of fun when I go and play, but God, am I terrible. Anti, anti freeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, I am, I am absolutely fucking terrible. I am lucky to get over 100 pins. Like, I'm having a good day if I score over 100. <laughs> But I don't give a damn because I look like an idiot and I have fun and I laugh at myself and everybody else plays well and it's a good right, damn let's night. Let's see what everybody picked. There's actually a really great uh, three-story driving range, full-service bar, restaurant, and driving range uh, called Top Golf here in town that I want to go to during RTX. I think it might be fun, kind of taking a, a group to. It would be able to hold a lot more of us. And it's actually not expensive. Like, it really isn't that expensive. I want to say that last time I went, 20 bucks let us play for the whole night. And then, I think it was 40 bucks for food and whatnot. And a whole crap ton of drinks. I mean, it's not expensive at all. And it was also... That was weird. I have not been keeping up with anything at all. Was it vodka? Yep, gotta be vodka. Okay, there it is. Uh, you know, as your angel, I actually really haven't thought looked. Of there are a couple. There's the one that the Achievement Hunter guys keep picked. going to play at, the Peter Pan mini golf. Uh, that's kind of the only one that I really remember. But uh, I imagine that there are some others. Time to All pick right, Doc. Category. Your turn. Pick a good one. Single. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> I feel like that, that choice is a little more telling. news in 2004 when he was able to sell just a single ordinary blank on eBay. Type hmm. in your lies now. Boom, 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 boom. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Two people left. Enter your lies, people. You know you can do it. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Uh, a single ordinary. <laughs> I like cornflake. Really? Okay, fine. We'll go with that. Let's see what everybody selected. Oh, they did, huh? Bernie and Ashley just went live over on their Twitch that channel. Great oh, line. they think they can impede on my... T Are you kidding me? That, I will always be small potatoes by comparison to that. Yeah, no. No. There will hope to be impeding. But to be fair, there. my thing says I have 16 viewers, and that's a hell of a lot more than I've had over the last couple of weeks, so progress is progress. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I'm glad you guys decided to stick with me. Oh, wait, never mind. It's 15. Oh. Select a category. <laughs> Come on, Sai, pick us a good one. Boom, 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 well, we ain't boom, waiting boom, forever. Boom, boom. Aww. Okay, here's the question. 
It's time for a celebrity tweet. Another one. 44 a.m., the 10th of December, 2013. At Simon Cowell tweeted, still not sure what a blank is. What what are they playing over there? I'm curious. Still not sure what a... uh, How, how do you pick what Hurry, side? Oh, the uh, the when the category something. comes up, when it's your turn to pick, it'll show you another little okay, display of your choices. Ch- choices. Kind of like it's showing you right now when you're picking the title, uh, when you're picking the lie, and it's the same kind of selection process. They're playing fighting. I don't think I've heard of that one. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with swag. That sounds like a, a thing he would say. Still not sure what a swag is. All right. Although what a, what a woman is is really funny. No. Although this was back in thir- 2013, so he might have just started. Oh, Sai got us. Wow, Damn it. One hell of a lie. Good job. A hell of a lie. Damn, I heard you 3,000 points with that. But there's the truth. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. <sighs> that just hurts my heart. Hurts my heart bad. Because Sai is just now kicking all of our asses, and I'm stuck in fifth place. Like, what even am I supposed to do with this? And it's final fibbage. It's time for the final fibbage. Just this one is final such question, poop. and it's worth triple. Good luck. All right, Here's your what's it going to be? Question. Brand name of the criminal dolls for children with names like Dickie the Dealer and Bonnie and Bribe. Type what? in your lies now. Um... I'm going to go with that because that's the only thing that I remember that's close to this. But it's not even. Like, Cabbage Patch Kids would be pretty good. What I picked would be pretty good. But I don't know what the criminal versions of those would be. Hurry up. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, which one's the truth? Is it Killer Kitties? We got Disaster Master Dolls, which is pretty good. Um, hmm. I really like Little Lawbreakers. That's pretty damn great. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Killer Kitties. Fuck it. Uh, DC, try refreshing your stream. Can you? Can you hear the game but not hear me? Okay, what did everyone pick? Oh, that's gonna be somebody's freaking lie, and they just made so many points. On that one. That's the one that I picked. Yeah, see, I thought it would be garbage pill kids, but those were on cards. Those weren't a thing. Yeah, garbage pill kids were totally a thing. They were one of my favorite things. Buggies? What? And that's it. Nobody else is. I'm gonna have to look that shit up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that could be. Ugh, 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 ugh. Turnip for what? Turnip for win. That's what happened there. Wow. Jesus. Good job. Excellent job, Turnip. You got both awards this time. Fuck you, man. How can you win both? No, stop it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see what time are we at? 10 o'clock? Uh, I think we're going to take another short little break. Stop it. We're going to take another short little break here. And when we come back, stop it. We will play some more Drawful. Uh, I'm just going to do that. If y'all are going to keep being bad, then I'm just going to exit out of the damn game. How does that make you feel? <laughs> and when we come back, uh, we'll play some more Fibbage or something. I don't really know. 
I will make up my mind during the uh, breaks. That seems to be the uh, the case for tonight. We're hanging loose, having a good time. It's only 10 o'clock for me, so stick right there. We'll be right back in just a couple minutes, ladies and gentlemen.